Good morning, it's Mark Schultz here with Digital Aircraft and we are live at the MRO Americas 2022. This is my first interview of the day and I'm here at ATS and I'm very excited to be able to have a conversation about what you do. And um, let me ask this, first of all, is, is it uh, uh, Trey, um, who are you and what do you do? So Trey Brasson, I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations for ATS. Uh, so I have basically all of our airframe and our components divisions. Excellent, very good. Um, thanks for sharing that. You know, I've had the opportunity to visit uh, ATS in Everett before and um, long-standing facility, mostly doing uh, 737 operations up there. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. But they've recently made some changes and they've been expanding. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what's happening in your business? What's going on? Well, it's back. The, the answer is the business is back. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, following the pandemic, uh, air, frame, air travel is up. The uh, airlines are resuming operations. So maintenance schedules are are normal again what we would call normal the component repair business is we're seeing ramp ups there so the, i think in a word i would say it's back so we all had a real dip in uh, activity of course when all the passenger aircraft were grounded um, since your specialty right now is components can you tell me how did that affect the back shops and the component business did it also drop just as fast or were people working on components in the meantime or tell me what ha how what happened in that space what happened there is everyone who had parts on the shelf uh, just consumed the parts on their shelves uh, and okay. really stopped okay. repair and overhaul during that time. So mark. it really put the brakes on everything really did. at that yeah. point. Well, it really, I know it really seriously impacted a lot of companies. It but, did. But okay, so we know things are re-emerging and, you know, um, at least domestic traffic is, is at a peak, you know, right now. We, uh, international hasn't recovered completely, but... Um, but the domestic traffic is made up of a big difference. And I know that a lot of your customers are domestic, right? Correct. Front, you know, short haul, you know, kind of aircraft. Mm -hmm. So are you able to say who any of your customers are or is that? Sure. I mean, we work uh, actually in airframe. Uh, we work with Southwest Airlines. We okay. work with Delta, uh, Sun Country, Alaska. Um, okay. And then in the components division, we literally work for everybody. We, uh, we, we touch just about everybody. And, and where is that facility, the components facility? We have two. Uh, one's located here in DFW, uh, right uh, just south of the DFW airport. Um, that's the facility that we just consolidated. Uh, we, have, uh, we had four businesses here in the Dallas area that we basically brought under one roof uh, and kind of rebranded ourselves, one ATS, if you would. But really, it's to provide the customer a level of efficiency. Uh, to provide us a level of efficiency. And we, we basically, again, had four independent operating groups that we brought together. So we're super excited about this, the thing that we've done here. We also have a, a large components division up in Everett as well, right? Just yeah. not far from our hangar. Okay, now, I think it's well known that your division in Everett, you know, airframe services, you know, one of your specialties is 737. That's really well known in the industry, okay? But um, I'm not certain that it's well known what your unique selling point is, you know, for components. So. What, what is your specialty in components? Do you have any particular area that you focus on? Yes and no. Okay. I, I, yeah, right, always yes and no. We, we do a wide breadth uh, of components uh, from hydraulics, electrics, pneumatics, structures, flight controls, composites. Uh, there's not really a, an area of the, of the component repair and overhaul that we don't touch in some way. There are certainly some things that we don't do. Uh, mm -hmm. We tend to advertise the things that we do do uh, yeah. more than that. So yeah, we're we've got uh, about twelve thousand line items of capabilities across our components. Okay, division. what about uh, large LLPs and things like that? Do you do landing gear or? We do not do landing gear. Okay, I just wanted to clarify yeah. that. So all right, so other components, so any other kind of component, backshot component, do you do interiors? We do do interiors. Okay, yes. Okay. All right, and like for example, what kind of interior kind of work do you do? Well, a lot of our interior work is done to support our airframe business. Airframe business. Yeah. Okay. So certain in the back shops. In the back shops. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. Okay. Well, good. So if somebody's thinking about, I mean, there's obviously a lot of uh, different options people have to choose what they're doing. All right, and where they have their aircraft and components maintained is is that um, why should somebody consider ATS over anybody else that's in this hall today? The I think the simple answer for me is because. We, the way we approach our customers. Um, the uh, We're not for everyone. Uh, we know we're not for everyone. Uh, there are customers that, that value a partnership with their maintenance provider and their MRO, uh, tend to be the people that we gravitate to and have the best relationships with. And uh, we're, we're very happy with our customer base yeah. today. We have some really long-standing customers. I mean, like for example, I know Southwest, and you mentioned them earlier, mm -hmm. Southwest has been a, one of your customers for many, many years. And so I can see that when you join together with your customers, they stay with you for a long, long right. time. It's very good. Okay, uh, so um, wh where are you located here today at the show? What is we're your at booth 3427. We'd love for you to come by and uh, talk about all the things we have to offer. 
Awesome. Hey, um, uh, thanks for watching here today. Uh, if you're looking for airframe or component services, stop by and see Trey here at the ATS booth. Thanks for watching today. We're going to have interviews all day long for three days. Join us. It's going to be really exciting. Thanks for joining. Bye.